Hello there, this is Duel666 and welcome to part 6 of my DVD update for horror movies that I own. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get right along. This uh, first movie for this uh, section, it's not necessarily a horror movie, but uh, it was a movie that I actually liked. It had a, elements of horror movies. And it's Oliver Stone's talk radio. And uh, this movie is basically about this guy and he, he runs a controversial radio show which eventually gets popular through his crazy audience and it commit heinous acts and by the end he basically gets shot and it's actually a very cool movie you know uh... it's from... I'm not sure I think it's from the eighties it would I, it would seem so but uh... it's definitely worth a watch um... you should probably definitely check out talk radio so uh, go ahead and do that this next one is also like um, I think I mentioned Buried Alive earlier, which was a Best Buy exclusive by Dimension Extreme. This is also, and a lot of people have seen this on the internet, and it's Teeth, and it's basically about uh, this girl, and uh, whenever she gets mad, she's got teeth in her, you know, so she bites off the guy's Johnson, and uh, very unique, I'd have to say. So, um... It's definitely worth a watch. It's a bit perverted, but, uh, you know, there's, there's the uh, cover if you want to seek it out. You can find it at Best Buy. This next step I also got when I picked up Eight Legged Freaks at that video store that was going out of business. And uh, it's called The Butcher, and it's a uh, new age slasher with very low budget. And you can even tell by the casing and how homemade it almost looks. But, uh, Typical slasher, these guys are all going out to Vegas for a weekend, and, uh, and slowly they're killed off by the butcher. And, uh, if you're looking for just a good throwback, this is a movie for you. And I actually enjoyed this movie very much. Next up we have, I actually have three movies next up, and, uh, it's The Evil Dead, The Evil Dead 2, and Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. And, uh, if you have not seen The Evil Dead, very very good zombie film and uh... very ahead of its time if you really think about it uh... moving right along to evil dead two it was basically a remake but with com comedic elements of the first film and it, it did have a separate storyline and did not really connect to the first film and uh... although it did share two th the same character ash and uh... in the third one army of darkness ash somehow travels back in time to the medieval period and kills demons and zombies and it, it's a really cool movie just you know check all three of those out they're really good and this next one everyone seemed to make a big deal out of in the 70s and uh... it's got it's, it's been mocked so many times and it's been it's been praised and it's probably one of the be most probably one of the best known horror movies of all time and it's uh... The Exorcist the first one the original and uh... quite frankly i did not like this film I do not know what exactly it was about it. it, it I, I watched it all the way through, and people really thought I'd be affected by it, but it just, it really bored me, if, if, I, if I might say that. But, uh, I suppose it may have, may have to do, if you really believe in God, and I myself being an atheist, just, it just, I guess that doesn't affect me, but, uh, if you, if you're into that sort of thing, you know, check this movie out if you haven't seen it. It's actually, it's, it's a good movie for what it is. And, uh, this next up, uh, The Grudge and The Grudge 2, and, uh, the first one, The Grudge, very good movie, and I definitely recommend it, and it's about the spirit that gets locked in the house, and, uh, whoever goes in the house is, is like, basically cursed forever and until they die. And the second movie really plays on that, too, except it's centered in Japan for this one. And I think the first one was in Japan as well, but uh, I'm not sure, I forget. But uh, it's basically the Japanese version, but kind of remade in a way. And uh, actually very much much scarier than the, um, the first one. And I did enjoy both of these very much. Also, they have The Grudge 3 out now, but I haven't gotten around to buying that and watching it. So I'll let you know when I get that. Uh, next up, these two films. Um, the Hills Have Eyes, Unrated and The Hills Have Eyes 2, unrated, and, uh, I gotta say, this is a remake of, uh, Wes Craven's old film, and it was very good, spot on, very good and brutal film, um, it really preserved what Wes, Cra Wes Craven had in mind for the original film, but, uh, 
a sequel. And there was also an original sequel as well, but the, t this, the original sequel and this new sequel have nothing in common at all. And, in fact, I did not like this one at all, very much. Like, it, it, the, the storyline was bullshit. You know, you could, it was about these guys, or this military training unit that's training out in the desert where those mutants are from the first movie, and just slowly kill them off. It's, it's pretty ridiculous, but, you know, it, it's worth one watch, in my opinion. There's some okay gore, but there's a lot of CGI as well, so uh, be prepared. Next up, we have also from the Ghost House Underground releasing, which is one of my favorite releases. They do some pretty good old underground stuff, and it's an unrated version of Last House in the Woods. And this movie is an Italian movie, and it's about this guy and this girl, and they they're gonna be together forever, but then they break up and. A few years later, the guy wants to talk to her, so he takes her on a drive, and these guys, they basically beat up the guy and try to rape the girl, but then these, this family helps them, so, and once they get rid of the guys that were trying to beat them up, they take them back to their house, um, only to discover that their son is a cannibal and they're going to be fed to him. And uh, It's got some pretty funny dialogue. It's, 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 it's a good movie. Definitely a good throwback. Very good gore, and... Uh, Great A, B movie, in my opinion. New Age. And, uh, next up, I, I didn't like this film all that much, because it was extremely computer-generated. I didn't like any of the CGI blood, and all the blood was basically CGI. There was some good organic gore effects, but not much. And it was really weird. Basically, it's called Midnight Meat Train, and it's about this guy who is a serial killer on a subway in New York. And he, like, basically skins the bodies and guts them and does, uh, prepares them all for this lizard colony under New York. And, like, the lizards are, like, half-human and stuff. It's, it's really weird. By the end of the movie, they kill the one guy, but the main character ends up becoming the new serial killer because his life's basically ruined and he has nowhere else, nothing else to do. Uh, you know, I, would, I wouldn't really recommend it, but if you're... If you really want to see it, rent it, don't buy it. Because it's, it's not really worth it. And uh, these next two films, The Ring and The Ring 2. And I haven't got around to buying Ringu, the Japanese version. But, uh, both of these are very good films. I don't even want to ruin anything about them. I do recommend them, so go pick them up. They're, they're really good. And uh, next up, I picked this up at Big Lots for like two bucks, and it's sci-fi boys, and it's not a really, um, horror at all. It's basically about all these filmmakers that really revolutionized thrillers and, um, some of the horror genre, and it's got, it's got George Lucas and Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson and Ray Bradbury, and, uh, it really tells the story of how they just kind of made it in life and how they did what they did, and uh, it's really cool. It shows some good old animation and some good old film and if you can find this, I'm not sure if it's really widely spread, but if you can find a copy of this, it's actually an interesting watch, so I, I'd recommend checking this out if you can find it. And, uh, next up, probably one of my favorite horror movies ever, and, uh, I have the Tuda Special Edition here. It's all ruined because my friends are constantly borrowing it, and it's, uh, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, and let me just say, this is by far one of the best horror movies I have ever seen. For being just a simple slash, and not even simple, but the way it explains itself all throughout the movie is just flawless. It's, 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 many people would say it's the first epic horror film, and I would completely agree. So uh, definitely I recommend The Shining. I didn't think it would be what it was, but it was, and it's amazing. Go check it out if you have not seen it. Now this next one, Silence of the Lambs. What what can you say about this? This is a very good film as well. Uh, lots of good gore effects, organic for the most part. Good storyline. Uh, I don't good acting, and uh, very exciting. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. And uh, I definitely recommend the Silence of the Lambs as well if you have not seen it and its sequels. And uh, that sums it up for this section. Um, time limit's about to run out again. I will see you on part 7, I believe. Alright. Group 666, out.